Flatline, King City. A city devoted to the glory of God, but in her dark underbelly, there are villains gathering. Evil men who seek to steal God's glory. Will King City find her hero? Can she be saved and restored to her former glory? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in every week to The King City Chronicles. Hey, Scripture Guy, check out this article. All right. Listen to what it says. It says the redeemed team rescued an unlikely victim yesterday. The villain, known as Philistine, oh, yes. called out for their help. <laughs> Kingdom Crusader and Scripture Guy answered the call. They bandaged his wounds, prayed for him, and then dropped him off at the prison hospital. <laughs> it takes a special kind of hero to reach out and love your enemy. Wow, that Scoop Gibson is some writer. He is pretty incredible. <laughs> I'll say, thanks to the King City Herald, the entire city loves us. Well, you know, Crusader, God has called the Redeem Team to do his good works. <laughs> Yeah. Well, do you think that the, uh, do you think the Philistine has finally learned his lesson? Well, it's hard to say, Crusader. Only God can know a man's heart. I mean, that's how it was with King Saul. Ooh, I, I think I've heard of King Saul. Oh, yes. King Saul was the first king that God gave to Israel. Here, let me get out the good news and I'll show you. All right. Now, the prophet Samuel was getting too old to be judge over Israel for much longer. So the people begged Samuel for a king to rule over them. But I thought that God had sent them judges. He did. But they wanted a king so that they could be like other countries. Well, but they weren't like other countries. Mm. Uh, God was their king. If only they could have seen it that way. You know, Samuel tried to warn them, but God knew their hearts. So he told Samuel to give them a king. God sent Samuel to look for Saul. Well, where, where was Saul? He was out looking for donkeys. Oh, well, that's, that's kind of a strange thing for the future king to be doing. Well, you know, Crusader, the more I read the Bible, the more I realize that our God works in mysterious ways. You see, Saul's dad had lost some donkeys. And he sent Saul to go look for them? Exactly. Huh. Saul searched high and low and through several towns, but he could not find a single donkey. But he did find Samuel. Well, how did that happen? Well, when they came to a town called Ramah, Ramah, his dad's servant told Saul about a man of God who might be able to show them the way to go. Well, that must have been Samuel. Yes, it was indeed. Yes, yes. Saul didn't uh, know, but God had already told Samuel that he was going to send him a leader from the tribe of Benjamin. Well, well, that must have been Saul. Did they find each other? Yes. And when they met, Samuel took a flask of oil and poured it over Saul's head. Oh, well, that's kind of a strange way to meet and greet. What did he do that for? Well, he was obeying God by anointing Saul with oil. You see, that was a sign, and it showed that God had chosen him for a special job. Huh, well, I'll say it was special. The first king of Israel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a great big job. Mm -hmm. It was a big job. And the good news was that Saul did not have to do that job all by himself. Huh. God was going to give him power. God had put a plan in place. Listen to what Samuel told Saul. The spirit of the Lord will come upon you in power. And you will prophesy with them. And you will be changed into a different person. Once these signs are fulfilled, do whatever your hand finds to do, for God is with you. Huh, well, <laughs> well did King Saul prophesy? Yes, yes, indeed he did. A and, and was he a changed man? He was. <laughs> oh, wow, after all that, I bet King Saul was happy to be chosen as the new king. Actually, he ran away and hid. What? Why would he run away and hide? <laughs> well, I'm not sure. I mean, the Bible doesn't say, but I think perhaps... He was afraid of the job. Oh, well, well, did they ever find him? Oh, yes, yes. In fact, God told the people that Saul was hiding behind the baggage. And so the people went and brought him out, and they shouted, Long live the king! <laughs> oh, wow. I bet they're real happy that, that uh, the Israelites now were, had, a, had a leader chosen by God. They were happy. And you know what? I'm happy, too, that God has chosen you. Oh, what? Me? No. <laughs> I'm no leader. <laughs> Yeah, read the papers. 
You're a hero. You led King City to safety. Well, that well, that's only because I was I was working with you. I, I I'm just I'm just a guy who's trying to help out. But you, oh you, <laughs> you ever know that you're my hero? No, I didn't know that. You're everything I could hope to be. <laughs> Too. You're the wind beneath my wings. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Scripture guy. Scripture guy. Ooh, scripture guy. Oh, scripture guy. Oh, scripture guy. Oh, scripture guy. Oh, scripture guy. Kingdom Crusader. Yes. You are part of the Redeem team. God knows your heart and he has chosen you. To do his good works. Oh, but, but I'm not ready to do God's works. <laughs> That's what Saul said. <laughs> he thought that he wasn't ready either, but God had chosen him, and God does not make mistakes. Yes, God but, thinks you're ready, so you are ready. But, 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 but no, no, but, no, no, no buts. God makes perfect choices. <laughs> in fact, if God believes you're ready, then I believe in you. Oh. All right, Kingdom Crusader, it is your turn to watch over King City. I'm going to go take a rest. Keep an eye on that screen, and if you hear any buzzing or alarms or any kind of loud noises, give me a call if there's an emergency. Okay. Uh, okay, thanks. Oh, wow, guys. I, I guess I understand how King Saul felt. When God calls on you, you want to serve him with your whole heart. I just wish I believed in me as much as God believes in me. I think I'm going to go pray and that God will, will prepare my heart and that he'll help me give everything to honor my king.